Hey guys, it's me again. Um, you're probably noticing that I'm talking in my male voice and not my female voice. Um, I've just gotten over or knock on wood um, a battle with a pretty strong head cold. Uh, for the sake of your ears and for the sake of my own uh, humility, I will not try to talk in the voice that I have been working on. Um, it does not work, especially when the nasal passage is all stuck up. You may also notice that uh, the angle of my camera is a little bit different. Um, the reason for that is the fact that it is now adhered to the top of my 42 inch flat screen TV. Um, I have just went ahead and upgraded from my laptop, which I just clipped it on there and looked level. Now I have to look up to talk to you guys. Um, it works better processing power. I had to reinstall the software, so I apologize for the lack of a uh, current up to date video. Um, just to go over a couple uh, summaries real quick from the last time I had a video to um, current time. Um, work's been going alright, just a little fiascos here and there, nothing with my whole transition at all luckily. Um, not out to them yet, I will be hopefully coming up eventually. Um, beds are going good, um, the Estrofem 4 milligrams uh, once a day, or 2 milligrams twice a day, I do the 2 milligrams. And um, the spiraloctone, that's 100 milligrams a day, uh, split up into 250 milligram increments, uh, one in the morning and one in the evening. Um, they're going all right. Uh, I am noticing some changes. As you can see, I kind of have a little bit. <laughs> I mean, not trying to, you know, brag or at the same point in time, not trying to embarrass myself for YouTube and, you know, the fact that there are people watching this and people that I work with that maybe do not know yet or anything of that sort. Um, but, um, hair change. I um, haven't really noticed much on top of the head. Um, rest of the body, not so much. Hair is a little bit slower proceeding. It's been about a couple months, if I recall correctly. Um, what was I going to say? Um, shaving's a little bit easier now, um, which is nice because I hate shaving. And I'll put this in. I hate shaving. Like, I can't stand the feeling. I can't stand. I always cut myself and no matter how nice a razor I use, and I never have any luck at all. So, plain and simple, long story short, I hate shaving. Alright, back on track. Um, work's going good. I started school back up again. I believe I haven't done the last video since I started school up. It's been a little while, so uh, classes are kicking me right and left. Um, right now I'm taking a math course um, that is taught by a foreign instructor who's a little bit kind of off. But at the same point in time, he seems like a really nice guy, and he's willing to work with you and give you a lot of extra credit, so it kind of helps me out a bit. Math is sadly a poison that's necessi or a necessity for my major, but at the same point in time, it's not too bad because I don't have to take too many courses. My main bread and butter is going to be science, which I'm excited to say I finally started a science course. I know, die of shock, right? So I go ahead, and I'm taking this chemistry class. It's introductory chemistry, which, you know, I kind of shot myself in my own foot. When I didn't take it in high school, but I took zoology instead, thinking it might help me in the whole veterinary field line. Go figure, it didn't work, right? So I go ahead and taking this, and it's by this 70 some year old man who is kind of a little senile. He mumbles to himself a lot. He has handwritten notes, no PowerPoints, and he's very irritable. Let's just put it that way. It seems like he's, you know, always, you know, got something up his butt or, you know, some burr in his shoe or something of that sort. Um, but, you know, I'm pushing along, I'm still holding my grades, which is all I want because, you know, that's going to bite me down the line if I don't. Um, aside from balancing school and work, it's not too bad. Uh, with my social life, I had a little fiasco recently with a group of friends I typically do role playing with. I know, go ahead, get it out of your system. I role play, roll dice, adult imaginary, whatever you want to call it, adult poker, nerd poker, whatever. Um, but. I go ahead and I got into a fiasco with them, so that's on a hiatus for as of currently. Um, hopefully, but I have reconvened with some old friends um, that I haven't seen in a while. The shout outs to you, Alex and Megan. Uh, Megan, thank you for helping me. As you can see, um, you guys probably can't notice, but I got my hair cut. And it's the way she put it to me is it's rounded off on the edges, so it has a more feminine look to it versus the jagged jaw shape that males have um but at the same point in time i mean not to knock her or anything but i didn't notice much of a difference but i trust her judgment and i'm sure i'll see it over the course of time um i do like it though i like the wispy in the side um that's 
my kind of style. So, um, sorry, I have to have my earbuds on. I don't know why I just feel comfortable wearing them. But I also got to see Alex. Uh, Alex and Megan are longtime role playing buddies of mine. I've known Alex for years. So, a friend of my brother's actually. But um, between those two, seeing them again was a good thing. It was a good thing to have them back in my life. And the fact that even though after coming out on Facebook and coming out to semi public, um, that there's still people in my life that still, you know, can put up with me or, you know, realize that I'm still me regardless of whatever changes I make to myself. So I do appreciate that, you too, and anyone else that has uh, bared with me is still going to bear with me. So I appreciate that, just to let you guys know. Um, more recently, um, I just actually recently arrived back from um, my first laser hair treatment. Uh, it was actually a consultation and first treatment to put together. Um, I got this uh, group on that was, uh, you know, originally like $1,800 for six treatments versus now it's $249. And I put that down when I got my student loan money. So I went ahead and I went there. I didn't know what to expect. I never had this previous experience before, but I just want to say that it wasn't too bad at all. Um, but I have a very high pain tolerance for, you know, obviously the tattoos, you know, one there, one, you know, well, sorry, getting used to the high camera. So one there and one there. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it hurt a lot of it right up here. This is really, really sensitive up here. Um, that actually did make my eyes water. I didn't have to stop per se, but at the same point that it really, like it was involuntary reflex. My eyes watered like crazy. It was ridiculous. Um, at the same point in time, oh, uh, so we got eyes watering. I did get my, I don't know if you can kind of see or not, but, oh, this side. <laughs> Sorry, reverse uh, thing. There is a little, little gem right there, or not a gem, but a clear stud. I did get my nose pierced too. Um, hopefully eventually being able to change it out once it heals up properly for the clear replacement that I have to have for work. Um, but, you know, it's not really too bad at all. Um, the whole laser hair treatment. Uh, the consultation took most of the time. The treatment itself took roughly, I don't know, 30 minutes, maybe that. Um, she kept track of the laser count, which she showed me afterwards, because, you know, apparently our per my perception for the receiving end versus her perception for the procedure end uh, is a little bit off. I guess like 117 shots of the laser, but it was like 420 something. Uh, oops, excuse me, my phone's going off. Uh, I have to take this call. Part two will commence.